Hi, Robin. Hello, Robin. I don't know, um, Julie, how you felt the very first time that you had to get a shot, but I was traumatized. <laughs> Well, I'm very tough. Solid Teutonic stock over here. I don't mind the shot so much, but I did take in um, all three of my boys last week and the babysitter and the husband, everybody. And um, we really only had one set of tears. So I'm not, I was, I was very impressed. It's, it's not that bad. Well, Dr. Edelman, how do you deal with kids that get squeamish around needles? Uh, well, you give them a shot. <laughs> wow. You get, a, you get a great mom like Julie who says, you know, this is really good for you and it's only going to hurt for a second and it's like a mosquito bite. Well, you know, uh, there is the nasal vaccine for children who uh, are above two years of age and are petrified about needles. And now they have to be selected carefully. They can't have any chronic illnesses. Uh, the shot works for everybody. And... You know, doctors give kids shots all the time. Kids need shots to protect themselves against all kinds of terrible diseases. And the flu is just another one of these really bad diseases they ought to be protected against. You know, the reality is if your kid had the flu or if mine had the flu and a fever of 104 and was coughing and miserable in bed and somebody came over and said, I can give you this shot to cure them, I would give them that shot in a heartbeat. So I'd rather give them the shot now and protect them. Do you, uh, do you have like a standby of ice cream to bribe them just in case? It, lollipops and gummy bears. <laughs> now, Julie, what got you involved um, with the American Lung Association? Was this a personal quest for you? Um, you know, it, for me, it was a very easy thing to say yes to. I vaccinate anyhow. I'm a believer in vaccinating. And uh, I, I, it, when they approached me, Faces of Influenza and the American Lung Association, it was so simple to say yes because it's something I already believe in. Um, I don't want my kids to get sick. And I think it's the nicest thing I can do for the rest of my family as well, not to bring illness to them. And, um, Doctor, how do you feel about having a big shot celebrity working with you on this oh, campaign? Oh, it is fabulous. She is, she is as good as she is on television. She's ten times more wonderful in person. It's been great to work with her. We're, we're delighted that she's willing to give us some time in her very, very busy day. And I'm sure it's really going to help us get the word out that Americans should be vaccinated against the flu. So we're, we're absolutely delighted. And anyone over six months of age. Got it. Yeah. How are, so you're trying to get uh, the guy on, on Modern Family, Manny. I forget his real name. Rico Rodriguez. Yeah, you're trying to get him to get a flu shot? I'm gently suggesting. Um, it is... Uh, I, I leave it to, to experts like Dr. Edelman to beat the drum. I just gently suggest and talk loudly, as is my want to do, about getting my own flu shot and how it wasn't a big deal at all. I'm trying to get somebody to come out to the set and offer free flu shots. Um, we'll see how that, how that pans out. Oh, that would be a great idea. Right? Well, the easier it is. I mean, right now it's super easy. You can go to the drugstore. You can go to your pediatrician. You can go to the doctor. You can go almost uh, anywhere. There's lots of free flu shot clinics going on. Um, but it, certainly if somebody comes to your workplace, it's even easier. Lots of employees are doing that because it keeps the employees working and not home in bed with the flu. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like a no-brainer. It certainly is. Now, Julie, I know you keep in fantastic shape. Ah. Um, you just ran for charity. I uh, did. Tell me about that. Um, well, I'm a runner, anyhow. So that was just a that was a, a quickie on the weekend. Um, I tried to go really fast, but my timer was broken. So I get to make up my own time. And how did you do that? I don't know what happened. The, the little chip that you wear didn't work. So I, I've made up an extremely fast time for myself. And is, let me ask you this, is there a myth, um, if you're very healthy, that you're sort of not as susceptible to the flu? I, I always think that I'm not going to get sick, and then I do, and I, I'm mad. You know what? We used to say that everybody can get the flu, but only the very young and the very old got very sick. You know, the H1N1 last year showed us how wrong that was. Totally healthy young adults and teenage children and pregnant women were getting deathly ill from the flu. So now we have to say anybody can get, not only get the flu, but get a serious flu and serious complications. 
And Julie, are you one of those people who, who, when they get sick, becomes like a little kid and baby mm -mm. me and all that mm -mm. kind of stuff? No, I most certainly am not. I leave that to um, the, the, the men in my family. Um, I find that that is uh, strangely, do you find this? The more men turned a little bit more childish. What do you think? Men, childish. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tend to muscle through, um, but I, it's very unpleasant, and certainly with the flu, not interested. Do you believe in uh, sort of remedies like chicken soup? Does that really work? You know, it certainly makes you feel better. It, 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 it can relieve some of the discomfort, but the reality is with a serious illness like the flu, it, I'd much rather get the shot now, have about five seconds of discomfort, than have to lie around in bed and uh, feeling miserable. And you could have the chicken soup anyway. Yeah. Now, where, why do you think that started, Doctor, that whole thing about chicken soup? And that makes well, I mean, chicken soup is wonderful. I'll give you my grandmother's recipe if you want. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, the warm liquid going down your food pipe warms the windpipe and makes you feel a little better. So all warm liquids make you feel a little better. And chicken soup is a great warm liquid. So a hot toddy. Uh, Brandy Alexander. Well, uh, <laughs> well, we don't ordinarily suggest that you drink alcohol. Uh, but, so serious, uh, this one. <laughs> there is, isn't there? Yeah, there's that Irish whiskey one they say that works as Irish well. Irish coffee. There you go. I'm sure this is not a medical recommendation. <laughs> In all seriousness, we, we do want you to get your flu shot. Absolutely. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. And um, have a great day. And let's hope we don't get sick this year, huh? Absolutely. Well, well there's a, a good way to prevent it. And if you want more information, it's facesofinfluenza.org.